everyone this is Mohammed and back in some time I have shared a video of an AI assistant that I developed for Rabbit. Similarly I'm exploring the same with the other applications and today's video I will share my progress with the Navisworks. Okay so the use case that we have within Rabbit so far it was promising and it works really fine with the active model or some of the linked model uh, you know was trying to improve and then get the information but the challenge is to query the models of the same project where we have multiple models right so um, this is where i think now work really shine where we can federate the information model for that project right? so we can query this information, have reasoning about these large data sets, which will become more easier within this environment. Okay. So similar to to the Rabbit, I've got the sort of the same interface where I have the text box where user can write the query um, and then process query that would help to query the information from this active model. Okay, so let's um, try making use of this and try to print out a couple of um, information from this active model. However, I don't think so. It's perfect yet, but I'm very happy that I could be able to, you know, get to an extent where I can make use of this um, AI assistant. Okay, so let's let's say um, because right now within this particular model I only have one Navis work model, so let's try to um, to ask a question here. So print the file name of all loaded models to a message box. Right, so print the file name of all loaded models to a message box. So right now it's only one, so it should pretty much query only one or information. So I'll just copy this text and let's process the query. So right now it says that that's only one model, okay? Um, we'll try to append a few more models. I was doing some testing, so I've got a few other models. There are there are quite a few here. So we'll say that now let's try to place this and then read on the query. Okay, so it's basically displaying all the updated information here. Similarly, I can copy this data to a clipboard, so I can write a prompt here saying that whenever this message box is displayed, I'll just copy this information to the, um, to the, um, uh, you know, clipboard. Okay, that's good. Um, similarly, what we also wanted to do is I mean, wanted to query some more information from this model. So far, this is working fine where I can list a set of models. Okay. Um, what we will say is that let's try to do some complex or not complex, but let's try to make some more um, reasoning here. So what I wanted to do is that once it prints or loading models to a message box, what we also like to do is that in select all models name contains contains so let's say zero two because there are zero two is here and then also zero two in this one so let's say we'll say that contains zero two Okay. Print the file names of all loaded models and message box and select. Okay. So now, as you can see, that it's selected 
um, both of these um, items. Okay, let's try to do something else where I'll select this model. And then what we will do is we will say print all selection name to message box. Okay, so basically selected a wall. All right, so I think this is it for this tutorial. Maybe in the next video, I'll try to see um, how best I can further enhance this. Um, but the idea is that I basically wanted to make use of this application more and more for the, the class detection and identification and then you know trying to extract some data from these federated models, etc. All right, so this is it for this video and um, I'll try to keep posted about the development in the future videos. Thank you very much for watching.